Hey hey hey, Battle Cats has an undeniable variety of cats, ranging from good to bad, and all with different uses. But at the start of your playthrough in the Battle Cats, the basic cats are the first cats you unlock. While they are mainly used a lot early game, middle through late game can be a little different. Today I'm going to be showcasing a tier list of all the basic cats. There will be a tier list of the second and third evolutions, as well as an explanation of why I rank them a certain way. The tier list will be based on the time frame in which the average person has a mess. More on that later. But before we start, I want to give a quick disclaimer that this is all just my personal opinion on this subject. And if you guys have a different opinion about anything I say, feel free to discuss your thoughts in the comment section. The first tier list I am going to be showcasing is the second evolution of the basic cats. Starting off in F tier, we have the one and only Brave Cat. Brave Cat is literally the worst basic cat at this point. Brave Cat is stuck in an awkward phase between a meat shield and an attacker, and it doesn't help that he gets outclassed by Ninja Cat in terms of stats and cat combos. I've also never seen a legitimate strategy that has Brave Cat in it past chapter 1. Next up, D tier. The first cat in D tier is Whale Cat. Whale Cat has a tank roll, but his single target attack and his 3 knockback count makes him a less viable unit. Whale also can't help against some of the more annoying enemies that tanks are used against because of his high knockback count, such as Kamel and Master 8. In this point of the game, he isn't very helpful apart from helping beat the Chapter 2 boss. There are also not very much red enemies he can be useful against. The second cat in D tier is Sexy Legs Cat. Sexy Legs is a below average range attacker, and there are just a lot better options out there to use such as Paris or Dragon Cat. Lastly, we have UFO Cat. UFO Cat is basically a worse version of Paris Cat being an area attacker. UFO has low health, range, and roof search speed with high cost, which means that UFO dies very quickly and drains your money. In C tier, we have Mythical Titan Cat. He is an all-around decent tank who is able to tank hits and chip down ranged units such as Kamel and Master A. He can also clear out peons with his area attacks. In B tier, the first cat we have is Dragon Cat. Dragon Cat is a good range attacker and is basically the main carry in Chapter 3 against Bun Bun. He can also be in a general lineup when he has space. The other cat in B tier is Giraffe Cat. The only reason why Giraffe is in B tier is because Giraffe is probably the best cat to speedrun levels to get either time score rewards or to farm treasures. There are also no other speedrunning cats that you can get at this point of the game unless you get Crazed Cow early. In A tier, we have Macho Cat. He is a very good meat shield as there are only 3 meat shields that the average person has at this point, which are Wall, Macho, and Samba. And as everybody knows, meat shielding is one of the most important aspects of the game, and especially against bosses like Raging Bahama. So did I just make this tier to make the next cat look better? Yep. In SS tier, we have Wall Cat. There is no meat shield as good as Wall Cat in this point of the game, being 50% more cost efficient in health than Macho Cat. This cat is an SS tier because you always use it in literally every level, apart from a few exceptions such as Shockwave stages. If you even use one meat shield, Wall is your go to. Before we get onto the next tier list, I just wanted to say that if you guys want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. The tier list of the true form evolution will be judged on how good they are during Cats of the Cosmos, Chapter 1, and beyond. Now onto the third evolution tier list. In F tier, we have Dark Cat once again. His true form doubles his health and attack, but it does little to help. Dark stats are still terrible and even the cat combos Dark is in pretty much suck. He now gets outclassed by both Ninja and Cruise Nax. The first D tier is Lion Cat. Like the rest of the cats, Lion's health and damage is doubled, 
with its research speed also doubled. His speedrunning abilities become outclassed by Chris Giraffe or Manic Lion at this point. The only reason why Lion is not in F tier is his use in cat combos, and his use against King Wawa, where there is a normal and uber only restriction. Also, you can still use him as a less effective Manic Lion. The other cat in D tier is Flying Cat. The true form of Flying doubles its HP and damage while also doubling its research speed, and grants him a 20% chance to weaken Angel by 50%. Flying is still outclassed by Paris, Cameraman, and Manic Flying in range and stats. While his true form does grant him a chance to weaken Angel, his low range and survivability makes it almost impossible to inflict his abilities onto enemies. In C tier, we have three cats. The first is King Dragon Cat. Again, King's true form increases his health, defense, and research speed. King's true form does help him, but he still gets outclassed by his crazed counterpart, and there are a lot better range units later into the game, such as Seafarer, Paris, Camera, and more. His single target attack doesn't help him either. I generally avoid using King Dragon Cat, unless there aren't much peons in the level, or when my other attackers get outranged by other enemies. Next, we have Macho Legs. Macho Legs' true form, like always, doubles its attack, health, and research speed, along with a new ability, Strong vs. Aliens. Macho Leg is just an all-around decent range attacker, especially against aliens by dealing extra damage and allowing him to take more hits from them. Legs can be used as a spammy attacker like Paris, but like the rest of the cats, Legs is usually outclassed by other cats apart from Macho Legs' ability against fighting aliens. The third C tier is Jamira. Jamira's true form doubles his health and attack, along with a 30% chance to knock back all enemies. Still, Jamira gets outclassed by his crazed counterpart. Speed is very important for tanks, and Jamira is considerably slower than Manic Jamira, not to mention Manic Jamira's stats are much better. However, his KB does help him push back slow units while tanking hits, such as slow advancing units like Manic Dragon, where Jamira can push them back, as space is very important in that level. In B tier, we have Mohawk Cat. Mohawk's true form doubles his health and attack, and that helps a bit. Mohawk Cat is still a decent meat shield. However, his drop from an A tier to a B tier is that there are much better meat shield options. Personally, I always use Eraser, Manic Eraser, and Manic Mohawk as my three meat shields in my general lineup. The Manic and Crazed Cats outclass Mohawk, and I only use him when I need a fourth meat shield. The second B tier is Island. Island's true form doubles his health, damage, and research, along with a critical chance of 2%, but that happens so rarely that it does not make him a viable anti-metal unit. Island Cat is a very important cat in the late game. Paired with Manic Island, Island Cat can do devastating amounts of damage to red enemies while tanking hits too. He is one of the main key aspects of beating stages where you need to tank hits from red enemies. These include Hanya, Professor A, Boar, and more. However, he does get outclassed by Manic Island, especially if your Island Cat is low leveled. The only reason why he isn't an A tier is because he only targets red enemies. In SST, Eraser Cat holds a throne. Eraser Cat is the second best meat shield in the game, with Manic Eraser being the best, and usually use two minimum anyway. With meat shielding being an essential aspect of the game, Eraser is also one of the most important units in the game. Eraser has an enormous amount of health considering his cost, being more 50% more cost effective than Mohawk Cat in terms of health. Eraser's low damage and low movement speed can also be to its advantage. It prevents Eraser from damaging enemy units and advancing quickly in the level, allowing you to stall from fighting the boss a lot easier while saving up money. Anyways, here are the two tier lists side by side, and I hope you learned something new. If you want more Battlecats content, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for all the people sticking out to the end. Bye bye bye!